what's going on YouTube. Today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to create your own tab bar for your application in Xcode. So to get started you'll need some photo editing software, in this case I'll be using Photoshop. You can alternatively use GIMP as it's free or the Photoshop 30 day free trial. So to get started what you'll need to do is go to File, New and I'm going to be calling this tab bar and make the width 320 pixels and the height 49 pixels. Click OK. And here you go. So I'll just make a really amateur looking tab bar just for demonstration purposes. You can make it look um, as nice as you want. Um, and also remember you can have up to five buttons on a tab bar, so you have to split the tab bar into five equal sections. But in this case I'll only be using two different buttons, so I'm going to be splitting them in uh, in half and using one side for one button and one side for the other. So I'm going to be making a little home symbol over here to signify the home button. It will look absolutely terrible because I'm just doing a little improvisation. So I'll make a little magnifying glass over here. So there you go, a really simple just a little tab bar. You can make it look absolutely brilliant, but just for demonstration purposes, I'll just be making it look very simple. So now what you want to do is click File, Save As, and then the format you want it to be saved as a .png file. So you're going to go and click on PNG, and um, then just press Save. Now, what you want to do is just remember where you've saved this. So in my case, I've saved it in my documents. So if I just drag this out onto my desktop, here we have it. So if you just click in the middle of your screen now, there'll be an annotation to link you to another video which will be showing you how to actually implement this tab bar into your app. And for any mobile viewers, I'll put the link in the description. So thanks for watching and I hope this helped you. And make sure you check out my other video on how to make a custom tab bar icon. I'll have the annotation up now and I'll put the link in the description.